The very first day of school? Oh, I remember it vividly. <laughs> and we uh, had gotten a flag, and so we had all of the children. I think at that time there were maybe 20 kids. It was the very first time that we'd all met together as a group. So we were saying the Pledge of Allegiance. We're going to try to teach them patriotic kinds of things. There was a lot of excitement. Um, and there was a lot, it was, it was kind of hectic. We raised the flag and everybody said the Pledge of Allegiance. And at the end of the day, I went to the door and I looked up to say a prayer, thanking God for the very first day of school. And I saw that the flag was upside down, <laughs> an international sign of distress. It was upside down. <laughs> And I was hysterical. It reminded me of this whole, uh, the whole way that we do things. That it's okay. The flag was upside down, but that's okay. We all make mistakes. I think parish school is magical. You know, when I walked Absolutely. on the old campus, it was like going to the enchanted forest. Mm -hmm. And it's like no other place. And that's what, it's the energy, and that's what, energy, and that's what Robin wanted. You can feel the vibration at the parish school. It's always been a special, a special place with a special feel. Mm -hmm. That's what has stayed mm -hmm. the same and gotten more and more, I think. She just had a way of making it sound so fun to get in and work with the kids mm -hmm. that it became that, you know? I feel like you started out with this one goal and so many other lessons came in Absolutely. from that exactly. one Absolutely. situation with all the children's reactions and and that's yeah. really what Robin wanted. She wanted yeah. kids Experience, to be in a natural learning. environment yeah. outside, and whatever material right. was there, the kids were going to make use of it. You know, Robin always felt like it was all a gift from the Holy Spirit, and she would tell <laughs> she would she would tell a joke. We 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 had a little library on the old campus. We had just very few books, and then all of a sudden we got this huge donation of books. Um, the Holy Spirit School gave us a donation of all of their books, and when people would ask Robin, you know, how did you get your library, she'd say, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally oh, like yes, it was. So like her. <laughs> so funny. I think one of the coolest things that Robin said when I was interviewing with her on the old campus, in her office, which used to be a bedroom, I yeah. assume, the sliding sliding door, glass door, door, doors, playground. that looked out onto the playground. Yeah. And I'll never forget, she looked at me and she kind of swiveled around in her chair and she, and she pointed to her sliding glass doors and all the kids were out on the playground playing and she goes, this is my window to the world. Oh, it's so and it's really just beautiful. stuck with me ever since. There's so many miracles that happen at Parish School. I saw it happen. You see it from the beginning and you see it at the end and it's just, it's mind blowing. We come onto this campus the construction, you know, just lends itself to this place of hope and comfort and security and safety mm -hmm. and collaboration and just all the most wonderful things. And you know what they what? used to say back on the old campus, that parish school was a place where angels were helping angels. Mm -hmm. And that's so sweet because that's, that's still true today. Today, the parish school can accommodate up to 140 students. The parish school is situated on a beautiful 17-acre wooded campus in West Houston. We are home to a very robust academic program, intensive therapies, master level educators, and convenient access to an on-site clinic called the Carruth Center for additional therapies. We integrate the fine arts and sciences and nature and the outdoors and what we do every day. We recognize that our children have a hard time expressing themselves verbally. So when they're in art, when they're in drama, when they're outdoors, we see a freedom of expression. We see a, a better glimpse at their true self. And we are able to identify those strengths and work on those strengths to, to build skills that are lagging or more difficult for them. One of the many things that Parish School does for a family is we create a safe haven. Many of our children, even our youngest learners, have had really hard school experiences. And school has been a stressful place. It's been uh, hard and difficult for parents to um, walk that journey with their child. 
And so we really come alongside families, equip them with the tools that they need to teach their child, to understand how their child learns, to help them be advocates for their child's learning, and eventually help their children become advocates for themselves. So if my wife Terry was here, she would tell you that Parrish helped Anna and it saved her. It really made us feel like we weren't alone because it provides a community, a support community of other families that are going through similar challenges. The staff here at the Parish School was also extremely helpful to us because they understand these kids and they understand and can relate to the challenges that we were going through and some of the concerns and emotions that we were having. And so it was, Terry says it well, it, it, it saved us. One of the number one things that I hear from families is that the parish school provides a place where it's safe to be you, where it's safe for their child to be themselves, where their child's recognized for their strengths and celebrated for those things, and where they have a community that really understands what it's like to walk this journey that none of us ever expected to be on. The parish school is a magical place that transforms the lives of children every day. Children of the parish school don't just grow, they thrive.